trying to go natural. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Time flies, it's that time again for your favorite, one of my favorite videos for the year, which is my Black Friday predictions, deals, what to get, what to look for, tips, tricks, sales, video. <laughs> Basically how to get the best from your Black Friday when it comes to natural hair products, black owned, all natural type brands that I deal with. So this is just me, disclaimer, disclaimer, telling you what I think the sale numbers will be. Usually they may change, some of them may change slightly, but this is kind of around what I think they'll be. So I may be wrong, don't quote me. This is just me guessing and I could be wrong. Disclaimer, disclaimer, let's get into the video. I do have some game changing news for you guys. I have good news, bad news and game changing news. I guess we'll see soon, very soon, what all of that is about. But yeah, let's get started. Let's start with the game changer. You let me need some fancy music, down to now. Because this year, most of the brands went up, like their free shipping over amount went up to pass my limit. So basically, all the major brands I buy from, Sultanical, She Sent It, Pearl Origin, Gorgeously Kinky, all of them went up to free shipping over $100, which for me, I love them, I love y'all. If it was even $60 and I, I didn't have so much stuff, because like, I have a whole lot of stuff now, so I don't need anything, first of all. <laughs> really, I don't. I can survive a year without buying anything. I have so much stuff. So between not needing anything and between just the amount for free shipping almost doubling, because I think it was like $60 before, or at least a few years ago it was $60, now it's like $100. And I, uh, of course I understand why the prices went up. Shipping prices have gone up in terms of getting our products to us, like USPS, FedEx, everybody has raised their prices. Packing material costs have gone up and everything. So I understand the prices going up. But of course me as a consumer, I have to kind of stick to my budget and figure out how that works for my budget. And the big game changing thing that that brings about for me is that I'll no longer be trying to buy enough to get free shipping. So usually I would buy at least one to two extra products from each brand just for the free shipping. Because basically one product is the cost of shipping and the other product is like, okay, you're getting a product. So it always kind of made sense to buy those extra two products to get free shipping. And I will not be doing that anymore. And on top of that, with me not needing that much stuff and me not trying for free shipping, I really think that this year we're going to see a lot more mini hauls from the eye for myself. So instead of me buying eight things, you may see a lot more three or four things. So that's the game changer. Before I would be like, okay, let me get free shipping. Let me just get all this stuff. My whole methodology has changed. Now I'm like, okay, what is it I really, really want? And then of course, some have flat rate shipping, like Honey's Handmade had flat rate shipping at a point, I'm not sure if they still do. But some you'll see have flat rate shipping, others don't. So it's gonna be a lot of juggling in your cart or in my cart. Okay, I added this, shipping went up by $7, take it back out. So what I'm gonna buy is gonna be less, I'm gonna have a lot more to do with shipping and shipping increments than before when I would pretty much just go at it and pretty much get everything I want, plus a little extra too for the free shipping. So it used to be a big free for all, now it's going to be a lot more carefully considered and limited, I guess, which is game changing for me. And for you as well, I'm thinking, don't assume it's going to be like free shipping over something attainable unless $100 is cool with you, in which case adopt me. <laughs> but think about how that's going to change your plans for this Black Friday. So without further ado, let's actually get started. Y'all know right now, I'm also going by the big sales, the biggie sales. Generally, I'm buying like 60% off or more <laughs> to maybe like, okay, 40, 35% off if I really like the brand. But mostly in that 60, 50% off range is where you'll find me. And that's what I'm gonna be passing on to you now. So of course, anytime we're talking about sales and great deals, we have to start with Honey's Handmade because they just go mad every year. So I'm expecting to see that again this year. I'm expecting to see like that number 65% off show up somewhere. I think last time she had 65% off just for a few hours on Black Friday. So definitely pay attention, check your mail. A lot of these brands are still posting on Instagram and everything, but you really wanna be subscribed to the mailing list. Like that's the only way to really get stuff if certain items tend to sell out or like this if they have like really tiny ranges you just gotta be on the ball so yeah mailing lists are a big thing a big tip or trick for black friday get on their mailing list if you're interested in a brand and get on honey's handmaid's mailing list because if you check 
that Friday evening to see what sale they had. You might done had missed the 65% and you may be on 55, 45% or something like that. Quick recommendations. I think most of her deep conditioners you can't go wrong with. I think that's the main thing that I would recommend from her. But I haven't had any super big problem with any of her stuff minus the one DC with all slip, y'all can check that video. But minus that one, pretty much everything else was fair to find, no issue, and at 65% off, yeah. I think even me will be getting some greedy buys, don't need, still have money to me, 65% off, mind gone, buying. I think even me, that will be the situation, so yeah. So then down the list, we have Sultanicals, which is uh, traditionally like a 50% off for Black Friday. I'm wondering if she might even up it this year, but I don't think she will, because there are a lot more companies hitting that 50% off when she just started doing this, so maybe five years ago she was like the only 50% offer on my radar, but the other companies have kind of crept up from 35, 40, 45, 50, and they kind of met her. So I don't think she's gonna go higher, but that's where she's at now in terms of sales. I'm still calling her first because she used to be the top with 50% off, but a lot of brands have met her. And again, that's a great brand. I want to say pretty much anything, you should be pretty much safe. The nut sauce <laughs> isn't my favorite. Some people like it and some people hate what I like. So pretty much sultanicals. You should like something and go for it. It's a pretty safe to say you'll probably like what you get. The other three 50% offers, basically she sent it, she sent it E and she sent it T. <laughs> uh, she sent it Curl Original Gorgeously Kinky. I expect them all to be 50% off. Y'all know I love she sent it. I have like a whole shelf of she sent it right now. Don't really need anything. But I'll be buying to support and... Because it's Black Friday, I don't know. And to get a few things that I haven't tried yet. Yeah, and all of these that I call Sultanicals, Gorgeously Kinky, Curl Origin, and she sent it there, all free shipping over $100. So you'll see me getting less of all of them, but probably still something this year. So she sent it in terms of recommendations. The deep conditioners, again, are amazing. The co washes are amazing. And I love the Tahiti Custard Gel and the Plum Nectar and Agape Gel. So those two gels or jellies I like. Yeah, I mean, pretty much just go back into my videos and you can see exactly what I love from all of these brands. But yeah, our quick recommendations would be deep conditioners, co-washes, those couple jellies, the Passion Fruit and Flaxseed line, charcoal scalp treatment. I mean, I could keep talking about you sent it for a long time and it's really hard to go wrong with them. So again, pretty much just go forth. Color Rachel will also definitely be seeing me. In terms of what I like, I really like the Maracuja line. I want to try the superfoods, but I haven't actually tried it yet, so I can't really recommend it. And hey, I'm hoping they drop some new stuff too, why not? I did like their hibiscus leave-in, I think, as well. If they're still selling that, I also recommend that. Gorgeously Kinky, also expect to be 50% off. I think they kind of redid a lot of their products. I really enjoyed their products before, and I think they've changed pretty much everything. So I might just be trying everything again, but I recommend giving everything a try, basically. <laughs> so I just did a video on them, and I love the deep conditioner, but then I think they've kind of changed the names of everything, like there's a new name for the deep conditioner now. Don't know if it's a new deep conditioner or what. So I still recommend them, but I can't really exactly say I've tried what we'll be buying. We as in yes, me too. What we'll be buying for this Black Friday. Another one in Nasty Naturals, I'm hoping they'll be 50% off. They did have a 50% off sale last year and they hinted at having another sale this year. They didn't say 50% off again, but I'm hoping for 50% off. I love the shampoo, you guys know like that's one of my favorite shampoos, the moisturizing shampoo. So I definitely recommend that. And of course I recommend the leave-in, which I also love. Those are two HGs from Anasi. So definitely get you the leave-in and the shampoo. And cross your fingers with me for 50% off from Anasi Naturals. We have Obaya Naturals also for 50% off. That's one I haven't really tried. I do have like their kind of styling custard to try. So I guess next year for sure I'll try it. But I haven't really tried them, so I can't exactly give recommendations. But I've gotten lots of great comments about them. You guys definitely down below, let us know about some sales, recommend some products, help each other out. Or buy a naturals or any of the other brands that you know and love, let us know down below for sure. Or buy a naturals, I did not personally be getting this year, but 50% off, great ingredients, black owned. And a lot of people have great things to say about them. So going down the line to curls and potions. So this one was 45% off, I guess, last year. 
So I'm expecting between 40 and 50% off this year. I like their original line, so I guess I'll recommend that. But I do want to try a lot more from their brand. So check out my videos again to see how their original line performed. That's all the stuff I tried, so that's all I can recommend. But I see good reviews on their website for pretty much everything. I'm not fake good reviews, but real good reviews. So I'm thinking that pretty much you can't go wrong with kills and potions. And two great things about her. One is that some of the sales go towards breast cancer research, so you're supporting a good cause as well. Of course, black owned, which is three good things, because the other good thing is that her shipping tends to be really fast, so if you are the one of those people that you don't want to wait two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, when my products, new sale come out, oh god, I have a problem. If that's you, and you want to avoid all of that, definitely I would say go for Kills and Potions, because that's one of the faster shipping um, sales. So you can get your little sale in, plus get your little products quick and not, you know, and leave the real hardcore waiting for us PJs who are used to it basically. Curls and potions. That's for you. Take that one. Buy that one. <laughs> yeah. So then we have TGIN, which again, I'm expecting probably around 45% off, 40 to 45% off for TGIN. So that's a brand I don't personally buy. I think they tend to have, some of their stuff has silicones. I don't remember why I don't buy all of it, but I do think they have good ingredients and good quality. It's just like, I try to avoid the silicones and polyquets and stuff, and I think they tend to have a lot of that. But if TGIN is your stuff, look out for Black Friday and you can get a great deal, basically. Then we have some 40% off predictions. Bashkin Bloom is one. You guys know I love the herbal cleanse. I love the deep conditioner. Ayurvedic mask. I love the hair gel. I want to try the mousse. So that's what I would recommend with Baskin Bloom. I want to say I also think that their shipping is pretty fast. Definitely a great brand. Then we come to some I haven't tried. So Unicurl is one, which is also about 40% off. Um, I think their ingredients, I did think they also have a lot of polyquets and stuff. So I don't have personal recommendations from them for that brand, but I do know a lot of people love their brand, so if you want to give it a try, if you like them, you probably could get 40% off on Black Friday if you're trying to get to a sale. Natural Club, I'm also expecting 40% off. I did kind of sneak and buy some recently, trying to remember how much I paid. I might have been that person that should have waited for Black Friday. I don't think I got as much as 40% off. I haven't tried the products yet to be able to recommend them, but yeah, <laughs> I'll be trying them soon. And I've seen a lot of good reviews on YouTube, I guess. And then there's Good Butter Shop. So I just love the names of their and the packaging. You don't know about me and packaging, but I love their names and packaging. So like they have like a Gova Colada leaving and stuff. I check the ingredients and the ingredients don't quite translate to the names. I think they're all about simple ingredients, which is great. But for me, if you call a name, I want to see it in there. Like if you say Gova, I want to see some Gova. Uh, so I'm a little bit pet peeved about that. But if you're looking for like really simple ingredients, I guess, maybe give them a try. And again, I'm expecting them to be 40% off. And I do have my eye on them. So if they did have a product that I wanted to try, I would definitely give it a try. And I'll link all the brands and stuff down below so you guys can go check them out. Down to like 35% off. The ones that I recommend here are just ones that I really maybe like something or, you know, fast shipping, something like that. So Caraveda is one. I really like their gel. So even at 35% off, between fast shipping, like they have fast shipping as well, and me liking their gel. If I did want to try their gel for the year, I probably would wait until Black Friday to buy it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get their gel this year, but that's what I recommend from them. Um, I want to try like their butter or something. They have some sort of butter type moisturizing cream, something, something. I do want to try that as well, one sweet day. <laughs> Camille Rose needs no introduction. I love the original pink line. I kind of have fallen off Camille Rose, again, because like other products have better sales and stuff. I really wanted to get to like an expo or something, but of course, Corona, no expos, because Camille Rose really has the best sales during like hair expos and stuff. You can get Camille Rose for like $5 a pop, which is awesome. So I really wanted to like try catch up on some of their stuff during the next hair expo. But I'm not sure when that will be with all the whole pandemic and everything. So, yeah. In terms of Black Friday, you probably could get 35% off. They do have great items. I probably won't be getting this year. Again, I still have quite a lot of <laughs> Camille Rose and mustache. 
So yeah, I probably would not get them this year, but I definitely recommend them. And I know a lot of you guys just only buy Camille Rose. That's all that touches your sweet baby hair. So if that's you and you wait for Black Friday, you should get about 35% off. And then special mention again to Alodia Hair Care and Hitachi. So Alodia Hair Care is a local brand. The owner is really nice. I really enjoy when I use her products. And I've been trying to get a hold of her gel. I think before the pandemic, we were even gonna just meet up and just give me one. <laughs> I was like so desperate to get a hold of her gel. But I just might get one this Black Friday as well. And her sales tend to be about 30% off. So I've used it before. I really wanted to use it some more. <laughs> but I just haven't been able to get my hands on it ever since then. And also Hitachi, 30% off. What I really like about Hitachi, first of all, right now, it's the only place I can get Blue Rose Beauty, so I'm definitely gonna be checking it out for that, just to stock up on my Blue Rose Beauty. But also, there are like so many different brands there, and you can get pretty much all the hair products for 30% off, which, you know, across all the various brands and stuff. So there's a lot of variety. You don't have to worry about all different shippings, because her shipping is pretty fast. Between just the joy of browsing all those products, and the products, and the sale, and the fast shipping, and Blue Rose Beauty, uh, Hitachi is definitely one that I've been looking out for. So just a few more notes that I'm just kind of hoping. So I've seen some companies kind of not exactly quite selling anymore maybe. And I'm kind of hoping that they come back for Black Friday and I will have my eye out for them. And I kind of recommend that you have your eye out for them too just in case. So one is Bakura Beauty. If you go on her website, it's still kind of technically up but a lot of products are sold out. So I'm going to maybe hope still that she may make some announcement for Black Friday. Similarly, Nectar and Main, really good products, but their website now, everything looks kind of sold out. I'm also hoping that they kind of re-energize for Black Friday and they would have a good sale if they did. If they did, I would expect like 40-50% off, so definitely keep an eye out for them. And similarly, Ujui and Sprouted Curlies, both of them I expect like 40-50% off. But both of them are not selling products exactly right now. But they've both hinted that they're coming back soon. So why not Black Friday? Hopefully we'll see. And then like a side side note is the lip bar. Because they have like black all natural makeup. 50% off. And you can get like some great lipsticks and everything. None of those toxic chemicals. Clearly I don't use makeup often. But I did try the lipstick and I did enjoy it. And I just want to support as well. And support you as well if you haven't heard of them. 50% off for a natural black owned makeup brand is like everybody winning basically so check them out as well so that's it you guys 2020 black friday sale predictions tips and tricks get you your best black friday have a great haul let me know what you bought let me know what you got let me know what the deals are let me know what products you're looking for make some recommendations Let's just have the comment section hop in and everybody shop in <laughs> in the next couple weeks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.